Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're taking a look at the early access version of Builders of Greece, a city builder based in ancient Greece. Their Steam page blurb is immerse yourself in the beautifully recreated golden age of Hellenic city-states. Builders of Greece is a city management game that lets you display your strategic and economic mastery, build your polis from scratch and make meaningful decisions, trade, fight and expand to become the ultimate ruler. Many thanks to Bloom Entertainment, Strategy Labs, Creative Forge Games and Playway SA for the key. And yes, I'll do a little section of the video going into why I've just talked about so many different companies. Now I can't stress enough that what we're taking a look at today is the Early Access version and we'll be releasing in Early Access today the 27th of February. It is pretty bare bones. What is currently included is a sandbox mode on a single map and a campaign mode which is actually just a tutorial city build that is also on the same map. So there's only one map in the game currently. They've also provided a list of things they intend to add during early access. So they plan to add a weather system, new campaign mode missions, expansion of players' cities to neighbouring islands, a gods and faith system, new buildings, new military units, more useful tools, whatever that means, and an extended technology tree and more. And they're looking for feedback and suggestions on how to improve the game so they aren't just guessing at what people are looking for. All right, let's talk about the game itself then. So how does it actually play? It plays a lot like an old style city builder. I'm talking games like Caesar 3, Zeus Master of Olympus, the original Pharaoh. And the reason I mention these older games specifically is because I feel like currently the game is missing a lot of the modern quality of life features that you might expect from a city builder. For me, there's a nostalgia element to it because I've been playing city builders since I was a child and I'm now 37. So as you can imagine, I've been through many, many, many variations of city builders, styles, types, quality of life features and not quality of life features. And as a city builder, this one definitely fits with those older style ones, but I think that's more because they need to add some stuff and fix some stuff. For me, a good example of this is the economy system. So as it stands right now, it's a very feel it out and figure out yourself, if you can, where there's some kind of gap in your economy or where you need to bolster production, etc, etc. There is a system in the game in the menus where you can look at what's being produced, but the information provided there is either broken or not giving you all the information you need. It's very hard to decipher at which point in a system you are lacking the right resource or the right base resource. Now, yes, very much through trial and error, you can work out where you are lacking, but in most modern games, it tends to give you a little bit more indication when you look at those menus. However, the fact the menus and the graphs are there suggests to me it's just not working right at the moment. What I can say, however, is the economy is reasonably balanced. It probably needs some adjustments here and there, but it's certainly not bad. It's also well set out in the fact that it kind of matches what you would expect from an ancient Greek city. And it wouldn't surprise me if they add some more bits and pieces as the game goes through early access. As there's currently a few buildings that seem to only have one use but could be producing more than one resource so give it time i think we'll be seeing more stuff added there for example leather and also honey the game has a pretty solid tech tree i do wish there was a little bit more improvement of base resource collection as you went further along the tree as it's quite limited to just 10 percent in most cases i think there's room for improvement in collection speed there I think something else that would be nice is if they could add a way to improve the amount of research points you get beyond just building more buildings. Maybe if they had something that you could produce that would speed it up a little bit. The reason I say this is because the game pacing is exceptionally slow to the point that I played the entire game on its highest speed. That's both the tutorial they have in where you're building a city to the top end of the tech tree and also the sandbox mode. Even on the faster speed setting, there's a lot of time where I'm just sat waiting doing nothing. Now, in fairness, once they add in religion, fires, weather systems, more combat, maybe there'll be more to do in these downtimes. But as it stands currently, I was sat bored on more than one occasion. 
which is actually a shame because the truth is as a standard city builder it's not bad at doing that that was actually quite fun speaking of other things specifically military it's really limited right now i hope they're going to expand on this right now you build some units you get attacked once during the tutorial mission where you're building the city and literally you move your units near where the enemy are and they engage each other you don't even right click on the enemy it's very limited in how you're interacting right now and i hope they expand on it a bit to give people the option to do more with it if they wish Graphically, the game is pretty nice. It's a city builder, so the graphics aren't going to be the best thing in the world, but they're pretty suitable for this type of city builder, and the buildings all fit the style you would expect from ancient Greece. Obviously, looking forward to seeing them add some very nice temples and things like that when they add the religion side of things. But I'm kind of left with a bit of a dilemma doing a little review video here or a preview video because at the end of the day, I can say the city building is pretty good, but there's so much content missing right now that I can't really talk about any of it other than my expectations and I hope they add it and it's good. What I can say is in the last week that I've had access to the early access version, they've done at least three patches and fixed a bunch of bugs and things and improved the tutorial, so... I can at least say they're pretty active in getting things fixed. My feedback for the team would be make sure that the system for giving the information on resource usage and where you need to fix gaps is improved upon. Make sure that every icon that appears above a building has a tooltip for when you hover over it because some of them don't tell you what they are at the moment and it leaves you kind of having to guess at what you need to do to fix it. I'd certainly look at doing something with the pacing of the game and speed things up a little bit or give some kind of way that you can speed up things a bit, such as something you can produce like a book that goes towards research. I'd also look at the military side of things and try and improve on the interaction there a little bit so you're doing a little bit more. And perhaps for the sandbox mode, if there's no automatic attacks during that, maybe add in the option that you can tick a box to have regular attacks or even just that you hit a button to set off an attack while you're in the sandbox mode. A bit like the old uh, SimCity games when you could create a disaster. Because right now you can just build a city, but that's literally all you can do and there's no real end goal in sight per se. Which I think some people will really enjoy because some people are just looking to build a city while away the hours and not necessarily have a goal for a mission in mind or want other interaction around that. But I also think it would be nice to have that option, which shouldn't be too difficult to add. Okay, that kind of covers the gameplay, my thoughts on it, and my feedback. Now I just want to quickly mention all of these companies that are involved in this game. Now I have to be honest, this is an area I have a few concerns. Blum Entertainment, who are the main company or development team behind Builders of Greece, are working on three different unreleased games, but from the information I can find, are only a team of between 10 and 50 people, which rings a few alarm bells for me because they're also working on a game called Crown of Greed and a Viking-based game as well. And all three of these games are coming soon or in early access. It's not like one of these games is already released and they're just doing maintenance to it. The other thing which has a few question marks in my head is that there are multiple builders of games coming soon. So there's Builders of Egypt, which is technically being worked on by Strategy Labs, but not Blum Entertainment. And there's also Builders of China, which has been rebranded to Celestial Empire. Now, it's really not uncommon for these days for multiple teams to be working on one game. Quite a lot of companies outsource bits and pieces to other companies. But obviously, in the background of that, there's all of these different games being worked on. And I'm a little bit confused who's actually in charge of each of these games and how much resources are actually being put towards these games and which ones may or may not get finished. And I'd like to stress these are my personal concerns, you might not feel the same way. With all of that said, in summary, the reality is I think the game itself is not bad as a city builder, even in its current state. However, it is missing a lot of features such as religion and the weather system and a campaign and more maps. 
So I would say right now it's pretty bare bones. If you want to buy the game now and support it, then that is completely up to you. I do not tell people to buy early access games, as you will all know if you follow my channel. That has to be very much a personal choice because at the end of the day, I can't say they're going to get finished. If it was a personal choice for me right now, I'd probably wait until it's either a bit further down the line or until it's final release when it's got all of these additional features added. Because right now, once you've kind of built a city, you've kind of built a city and that's the end of it. For me, it's definitely one I'm going to keep an eye on because I think if they add all of these features and make some quality of life adjustments and improve the speed of progression, then it'll actually be quite a fun game, especially if they put in a proper campaign where you're actually trying to aim towards and achieve specific things. Hopefully with the addition of religion, for example, there'll be some big end game monuments slash temples that you can build that take the entire game to complete. A bit like how in Pharaoh you were always trying to build a pyramid or some other obelisk. What I will say is, assuming they don't remove it, the game has a demo or a prologue version, so you can actually give it a bit of a go yourself. And then you kind of know what you're getting yourself into if you decide to buy it early. They're also saying that the early access version will be cheaper than the final release version. So that might appeal to some people as well. And I will leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.